have so much more confidence in each one of you than you have in yourself. And that's okay, because you're gonna get that. Because I look at you individually and as a team, and I see the sky's the limit. You gotta see it, and you gotta believe it, and you gotta find out about yourself. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Mistakes are going to happen, you understand? Yes, sir. It's a football game, but really what we're doing here is building relationships. We're paying this forward. We're making deposits in our community bank account. We're making connections with kids in the Yonkers Police Department that never would have been made. For educating children, it's not only the responsibility of the school system, but it is about building partnerships with other organizations within the community to continue to elevate our young people because ultimately it's about building the social capital of our young people. And this is what we're doing here today. A lot of these kids don't have any other interactions with the police other than sometimes bad interactions. So we're really trying to break that wall down, you know, bring them into our world and just as importantly, bring us into their world and start from there, just change the world, really. Sometimes when you just throw seeds out there, they don't necessarily germinate. That is what D2C is about. What we're going to talk about this morning is seeing things internally as opposed to externally because as a purposeful hero, that's your responsibility when it comes to the individuals that you are serving and that you are leading. Police chiefs and law enforcement leaders, we, we've known for a long time that you can't build consensus and relationships during times of crisis. And now we have an opportunity and an obligation to find ways that we can reach out as law enforcement professionals to those in the community to help build that consensus, to help build those positive relationships before we have a crisis. Every house down this street and every house on this side of the street as well, I would knock on the door and I introduce myself. I'm the new officer riding in this area. I want to make a difference. If anything I can do to make this community better, here's my number. Of course, it was a pager back then. It wasn't a cell phone, but I gave him a page number. I would say one of the big things is Kim's example when he talked about how he built those relationships and how they were so supportive and they became a voice for him. If you have relationships in your community with these people, and you need to educate them, they will become your voice. They can talk to your politicians to change laws, policies, or whatever. So the important part of it is building these important relationships and having your community be an advocate on your behalf. Most of our encounters with the public are very short. Even though a traffic stop for us may last uh, 15 minutes, for that person, they're gonna remember that the rest of their life. And so the impression that we leave with them is important. It's important that we leave a positive impression, even if we have to take enforcement action, that we leave a professional and positive encounter with them. The public are the police and the police are the public. Without a strong relationship and partnership with the community, the challenge for law enforcement and for the public both is so huge. If you can break that wall down and have a great relationship and reconcile that, chances for success, obviously, conversely, are very high. What can you do right now, today, you step out of these doors, what can you do in your personal and professional relationships to build more meaningful relationships? The birthing of empathy is a process. The first step is to listen. What we talk about with coaches is sometimes it's okay, just listen. I see DTC helping us to have thoughtful conversations. I think the key is for us to, to listen beautifully. Uh, those are some things that Quentin and D2C talk about. Not only are we hearing it um, at Marvin Ridge High School, but we're hearing you know, the same product that they're giving to, to colleges and Power 5 schools across the country. It gives us just a fresh perspective um, to really see how we can better serve uh, our community and work together with law enforcement. I really took away a lot from those sessions and incorporated them into my everyday life. My son was in the session as well, and uh, he got a little emotional. And when you see other athletes and big strong dudes get emotional when they're talking about communication and, and using those communication skills and being able to take what they've learned, because our athletes really are leaders, and they're gonna take what they've learned with D2C out into the communities and really lead from the front with that. My take from the leadership session was it really solidified like helping me stand up for what I believe in and really learn how to help other people. The program has helped me a lot with the community, just talking to other people. We all have different opinions, but just to be more understanding of them. It's helped me just to stay true to myself, really just not fold because of things that are going around in the world, just to follow who I am and be who I am and spread positivity. One day is gonna be over, folks. 
How are you gonna feel when it's over? Are you gonna truly feel that you left it all at the door and you can walk out and still feel a sense of fulfillment? July 6th of this year, line of duty deaths was 159 till that date. 72 of them were by suicide. This is what we're doing to ourselves, social, emotional, psychological. Once we take these strategies, and I hope you're doing it now, if not, you can start right now because now we're focused on the overall health of the organization. If you lead your organization and you know you're the best person for this time, then you also understand the importance of how your people are feeling as they're going through these times as well, because it's impacting you, it's impacting the overall health of your organization, and we see it today, it's impacting the community.